Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In the last episode we did the trading quest and in this episode it would appear we have another letter. Good morning! Letters for Link, we have one letter. Here's your letter. Parcel's been sent, cash on delivery. Postage due is 10 rupees. Will you pay? Notice the silver membership holders. Thank you for your frequent patronage of Beetle Shop ships. Since you've earned 30 points, you've been granted silver membership. All silver membership holders receive a special gift of one complimentary ID. It's valid at all Beetle Shop ships, so bring it to a shop ship near you. Look forward to your future patronage. Honestly thought that was going to be something else, which I was kind of hoping for, because if it ended up being that, I had an idea of plan, but fortunately, so, um, let's see. Maybe we have to get all the Triforce cards before we can do what I'm thinking. So, onward. Okay, let's see, how can we get the closest? We need to go. Okay. Wrong button. This way. Did anyone else watch up uh, while we're on the way there? Did anyone else watch the uh, Nintendo Direct on Wednesday? Kind of cool that finally getting Skyward Sword HD, especially since I was just talking about that with a bunch of people. Let's see what, who was it? It was either um, on one of the Discord servers, or it was on the. Zelda Wikipedia um, writing staff group chat. Yeah, I hope this is the one. Yeah, um, I don't know if I ever mentioned that I am a, a writer for the Zelda. Is it like Zelda universe, I believe. The reason I, <laughs> I couldn't think of the name is because I haven't um, really written anything in a while. What am I doing? I was actually um, planning on publishing a article about the Breath of the Wild 
cooking system because I was going to enter or like hang on I'm, I'm trying to like figure out where I am wait a minute I bet I have to okay I think I know what I have to do but I think that there is a glitch correct Because what we have to do is use the, um, the pair and put it on our head and control the seagull. I think you can get inside this though. I know there's a way to do it. <clears throat> Wait. Forgot you had to stand back behind there. Yeah. So now we get the, um, Starforce chart without having to do the seagull. Because, <clears throat> I mean, we've done the seagull game thing before. It's, you know, we get the point. Soaked up about all the fun we're going to have with that. So, why do it again? Plus, I like doing. Any speed run glitches and tricks whenever I have the opportunity because that's what we're for. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> However, we do run into an issue, because now we're trapped behind this gate. I think you can... What? Can you? Very surprised if you could. You can! Oh my gosh. Literally, like, I swear, whenever if you look up a tutorial, because that's what I had to do the first time I learned that, they all say to save Warvout, which I guess might be faster if you're just trying to get to a different island, but... We got out without saving it. Oh yeah. Okay, so we need to now go. Actually. I think that is all the charts. I'm going to have angle decipher some. Oh yeah, we still have to get those statues. Forgot about that. Oh, I was about to say, where is he? Let's uh, make it 
Dang. Mr. Fairy, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? Mm hmm. A fragrant, musty scent. Sir, uh, you found a chart? Splendid, splendid. Show me, show me. Why? You can't read that chart in its current state. Impossible, sir. Would you like me to decipher it for you? For 398 rupees? Tingle, tingle, kunuri, yampa. Become readable. You got your chart deciphered. Now you can use it to find a piece of the Triforce. Look at your C chart on the map screen. Chase location. Would you like me to decipher another chart for 398 rupees? What I'm here for. Tingle, tingle, cool, rimpa. Become readable. Uh, I don't got it on me, but. Mm. Mr. Fair, you must try very hard to find treasure. When you select and open this chart on the map screen, the place where the treasure is will shine forth. And just go to that place and rely on your chart to help you find the treasure. What are these guys? Thanks for the gift. I know that tingle statues are quite hard to come by. Um, not much, but please take this. I know what my big brother's like. Please play with him again soon. Otherwise he gets out of sorts. Eve. Oh. Heave. Oh, ugh, this is heavy. This is just between you and me. But this guy has another brother. That guy could just come spin this thing instead of me. Heave. Oh. Oh, man. We, oh, my. If that guy gave us 50 rupees, then we'd have enough. Alright. Well, let me get 50 rupees real quick. Alright. Well, we're gonna save up for deciphering that chart. In the meantime, we might as well go and fish up these other Triforce shards. Heck yeah. Oh. Alright. Let's see. Can I look? There's a this is one of the islands I know. Um, that the uh, ghost ship visits. But I don't remember which phase of the moon that's on. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna keep going from night to day until I figure out what phase of the moon it, it appears on. So hang on. All right, so I've gone all the way around. Which means this should be the right moon phase. like the wrong side of the island.
I feel like the, even the music sounds creepy right now. It's getting real dark. I guess we can try and look on the other side of the island. I don't want to miss it. But... Wait a minute. There it is, dude. I mean, I got up on here for a reason, because I figured we'd get a real good view of it. that look at that freaking ghost ship man isn't that epic? Alright, let's catch it. Yeah, so I tried to act surprised, but I already was aware that we could not board it right now. Um, I just did that to show it off because uh, when when we get well, the we need the ghost chart to be able to board it, and that is going to be. Down here, next to Outside Island. But, the reason I wanted to get a glimpse of it without the chart is because once you get the chart, you can't get close to it. And I believe it's also not um, transparent. Or, not necessarily transparent, but like, it's opacity it's up here I believe but yeah um so it looks different doesn't look as creepy and also when you get close to it um, the screen automatically like there's a loading zone all the way around the ship so we wouldn't be able to get close to it and see how cool it was we're still ready to to do the ghost ship. 
Like we we just need this one item over here. Oh no. I wasn't paying attention, I was looking down. No, no, no. No, please. Gosh, we got that close. Man, I for Yeah, there are... I think there's only two of these. Where did the... No? Unless we already went to the one I'm thinking of. There's one over, like, on the... Um... Southeast... Trying to use sailing terms. Southeast um, section of the of our sea chart, but those just those octorocks, the big octos, can be found anywhere you see like gulls, like a group of gulls gathering. Like I know there's gulls everywhere, but if you see them like circling, that's uh, an indication that that's where a big octo spawns. Um, I know that, I can't remember, was the one that we, uh, the one that we already went to, did we free a great fairy from that? Because if we didn't, spoiler alert, <laughs> late spoiler alert, um, that's how you free one of the great fairies. You can go to her shrine and you won't be there. Every other time, I believe it just. I think it, one gives you a piece of heart. That one evidently gave us um, an orange troopy, but. Go ahead and get some information on the island while we're here. Or oh, a small fry? Aw, oh, give me a break. What's with using the set? Oh, Wait, did I do this one already? You use the treasure that's hidden on the island there. The thing that vanishes as soon as you get near it, it won't vanish anymore. You know, it. I'm talking about it. A thing that appears on nights when a wee bit of the right half of the moon is missed. Don't you know what I'm talking about? It. Maybe we did. Um, here. All right. Hmm. Well, I think that if we did come here and got the key, the information on our sea chart for this island. I may have just alluded to that being a future thing of interest, but um, <clears throat> now you guys know what I was talking about. I wish this did something. I don't know why this is here. Like I always want to do one of these. One of these. <laughs> it's like it's not like you need it to for a height boost just to Yeah. 
get up here. I always feel like that should be something too. But alas, it is not. I know what you're thinking. Is this not the ghost ship? Looks like a ship. Why is it in the island? Well, think about it for a second. A ghost ship? This is an actual ship? Okay. <laughs> we went down into the in the hole, see how high it is up. Essentially, we're like so far down, we're basically like a shipwreck, but no water because I don't know. Okay, <laughs> it's a game, that's why. But yeah, so this that is the ghost of this ship that is wandering <clears throat> the great sea. I believe there are some. like speed run tricks you can do in this as well Oh well, I'll just show off the actual way to do it. Maybe. I don't want to commit to anything. Oh no. Well. At least now we've gotten to. We've. Turn on the wrong button. Whatever. Had our first glimpse at the gimmick of this. There are going to be hands everywhere trying to take us back to the beginning. And there are many of these like big pots, but not all of them are necessary. And that's because basically it wants you to do like a trial and error thing. But that's real fun. <laughs> that's where we came from. Well, let me do it. Although, I think this might be what I was talking about. I know we can. Yeah, I've got it from over here. Too short. Always too short. <laughs> you have to be really fast. Oh wait, we're running out of magic. Crap. Good thing we bought this magic potion a few episodes back. Yeah, as if I saw this coming. If I plan that far ahead, I don't know. I know that this is probably impossible, I just want to... Dang it! Alright, I'm gonna try and go for, like... Look. 
吹いている。Do you even need to do that? Maybe I can like pause buffer. What? Mm. I know this is possible. I gotta figure out. All right, so I want to say it's one, but is there a way that we can get up there? I'd be able to. Before we do that, I'm gonna try some stuff. What happens, James? See? See what you do? How did I do that? Oh, or I know I went over, but
need a hook shot over there. And I need more magic and I don't have any. Ugh. Gonna grab some while I was down there. I wonder if I can reach it with my boomerang. Yeah, there wasn't any magic down there anyway. Wait, there's some pots right under me. Oh. The idea is that you would go and get on this thing and fly over there, but we'll just take the intended route. Especially since it was right there, but always fun to do something the unintended way. You got the ghost ship chart. Check your charts on the map screen review it. Wait. So, now we can get on board the ghost ship without it disappearing. But, that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed, I would really like it if you uh, would just let me know. Leave the like button or dislike button. Or um, leave a comment and let me know uh, what your favorite part of this episode was. Or if you're looking forward to checking out the ghost ship. So, I'll see you guys then. Bye.